Ladies and gentlemen, I have always opined on this platform severally that in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence and that everything in politics is normally well planned, well scripted and executed to achieve a specific political objective. Nothing in politics just happened for the sake of it. Earlier today, Johnston Mudama made a comment that has actually caused serious political storm in the Republic of Kenya. As a matter of fact, if you go to Twitter right now, Johnston Mudama is trending. According to Johnston Mudama, if Azimio Lamoja One Kenya Alliance has to make an impact in 2027, then Ren Udinga has to be the candidate. So the question is, why would Johnston Mudama advise Azimio when we all know that he's a member of UDA party? 2017, I stood firm to say it is Raila, which is true. The numbers with Raila up to today, even if Raila of Lords, <laughs> the position of the leadership of Raila Amon Odinga, the charisma, the, 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 the personality, you know, the, 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 the way you articulate, he articulates issues to Kenyans, nobody will pick it from Raila like this and walk with it. There's no way. 2027, if Azimio has to make an impact, not win, impact, <laughs> Raila has to be the candidate. Anybody else? Hey. <laughs> well, later you know, so I can go and to the Tafuna. As we go to a word, we may listen and I. And because in politics nothing happens out of mere coincidence, I want to reveal to you guys why Johnson Mudama made that kind of a statement. But before we do that, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And for this particular video, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make a request, special request to you guys. Just give it a thumbs up. And for those who can, also drop your comment. Do you think ah, that Johnson Mudama is actually honest in his opinion? Let me know in the comment section. Now, let us dive in. Why would Johnson Mudama advise Azimio? When we all know that in 2022, Raila Odinga was a presidential candidate. And that was the time Raila Odinga really needed Johnson Mudama. Then Johnson Mudama decided to join UDA party. In fact, he was appointed as the chairperson of UDA party, who was one among the first high-profile individuals to leave Raila Molodinga. Why you did then today decide to advise Raila Odinga? In my view, number one, number one, I'm reading William Ruto's scheme or strategy to infiltrate Azimio. The truth of the matter is that Johnson Mudama left Raila Odinga. So by alleging that Raila Odinga is the best candidate, what is he trying to do? The next day, you'll see Johnston Mudama starting to attack Alonzo Musioka and starting to lean more closer to Raila Mododinga. And because of Raila Odinga's nature, he will start entertaining Johnston Mudama. Before we knew, Johnston Mudama would resign from UDA party, then will join Azimio, or ODM for that matter. Then, that's where the, 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 the plot will start thickening. Johnston Mudama will then find his way in ODM circles. And then that's how William Ruto shall have penetrated or infiltrated Azimio La Umoja One Kenya Alliance. So for me, my only advice to Raila Mulodinga, do not entertain Johnstone Mudama. He has a mission, and that mission is he wants a, he wants a way of making a comeback to your side. Not necessarily to support you, but to act as a spy for William Samuel Araputo. Avoid him. He can make those sweet words, but let him not come closer to you. That's number one. Number two, it is now clear that one of the biggest headache facing Kenya Kwanzaa today is the absence of Raila Odinga and the absence of Uru Kenyatta as far as the 2027 political equation is concerned in case Raila Odinga will not be on the ballot. Why? You know, if you were to remove Mount Kenya equation from William Ruto or from Kenya Kwanzaa, where will they get the votes from? And the truth is, the mountain 
are currently leaving William Ruto. So the only sure way of persuading Mount Kenya back to support Ruto is by unleashing the candidature of Raila Amolo Odinga. Then that's where it will now begin. Anti Raila Odinga is normally easy. It's normally easy to incite the mountain, the Togeges, using the name Raila Amolo Odinga. And that's the fact. Listening to this lady explaining it in a better way. Easy about politics, lakini kuna kitu ya kusema kama mkikuyu. Before nione uso ya huu msei, nilikuwa najua ya ni mganga, nilikuwa najua babake ya memlani hata ikuwa president, nilikuwa najua ajatahiriwa na mtumanya ajatahiriwa ya zikuwa president. Na kumbia ila condition ya sisi tulifanya na wazazi wetu na maantikuwa na maanti. Like before wana yata uso ya huu mtu before mjue, ulikuwa usha mchukia, ulikuwa naambiwa venye, ulikuwa usha ambiwa venye ya ni mbaya. Na hizo vitu, most of those things ilikuwa ta rumors. Hatuko tunajua polisi zake. Hatuko tunajua yeye ni mbaya ama ni mzuri. The truth. Hatuko tunajua any truth. Hatuko tunajua, tunajua yeye ni mtu mbaya vibaya sana. Na hiyo chuki yenye sisi tuliwekwa na wazazi wetu ndio sisi tumebeba mpaka tukakuwa wakubwa. Mpaka inafika mahali unaona haya. Hebu nikuulize, wanazaje sema Raila ni mganga? Ni mganga aje? Wanazaje sema tialikasiwa na babaka? Walijua aje? Unaona sasa unaanza kujiuliza hizo maswali. Lakini tukikuwa hatungejiuliza hizo maswali, ulianza kuambiwa hivyo ukuwa 6 years 7 years ulikuwa shaanza kusikia venye huu msee ni mbaya venye huu ni msee ni mbaya so huo nasema hizi kabila zingine nyinyi watu wamfight kutublem kuanza kusema sijui nyinyi wa kikuu mnachukia Raila ni conditioning sasa tulifanya condition kutoka tukua watoto na pia wazazi wetu wengi ukuuliza Raila ni mbaya na nini wengi hawezi sema wengi wamebeba chuki yenye waliokuwa na mama zao about Ramogi na Jomo Kenyatta tumebeba beef yenye hata si yetu na haituhusu mahali and then sasa ukikua kama mkikuyu unakuwa kama unachukia Raila inafika mahali unaanza kuona ai huu msee si venye tulikuwa tunaambiwa huu msee si mbaya lakini jua tuko blinded na hiyo chuki hata huwezi sikiza kitu yote anasema number three, Johnson Mudama is also scared of the Kamba tsunami how do you think the Kamba nation would vote today if Raila Odinga was to support Kalonzo if Uru Kenyatta were to support Kalonzo how do you think the Kamba would vote Would there be any other person left in UDA party in Kamba Nation? That is the biggest fear. Kalonzo wave is going to sweep Ukambani like tsunami. That is what Johnstone Mudama and the group are fearful of. They know that if Kalonzo were to be supported, forget about winning the presidency because according to Johnstone Mudama, even Raila Odinga will not win. He will only make impact. You see, in politics, there is nothing like impact. You either win or you lose. Even the, 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 the difference does not matter. You know, Raila Dingal is alleged to have lost election by 200 votes, 200,000 votes. Even if those votes were 2 million, the, 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 the fact would be he still lost. Yeah, Ruta won. Even if those margins were very narrow. You see, I was following the presidential election in uh, in um, Liberia in fact I, i promised to to do a video i'm yet to do it i don't know why i forgot where george Weah lost do you know the number of votes he lost with less than 10000 yeah that's the fact less than 10000 so a win is a win a loss is a loss so there's no way can also can con i mean johnson mudama can convince kenyans that raila should be the candidate to make an impact what impact in that case it's better to even try kalonzo for the time this time so that he can sweep ukambani <laughs> so the, the truth is the, the possibility of kalonzo musoka being a presidential candidate is one of the things that is scaring william ruto's allies especially those MPs from ukambani and that's why their story is Raila will not let Kalonzo be the candidate or Kalonzo cannot defeat Ruto or you know those kind of stories but the fact is there's going to be a tsunami in Ukambani if Raila if Kalonzo I mean if Raila if Uru and Azimi were to settle on Kalonzo Musyoka and the fact is even the mountain the mountain because now there will be no Raila Odinga will rethink how they are going to vote and that is the biggest fear in Kenya Kwanza Number four, it's also a strategy to divert the attention of the country from the oil scandal. Why do you think Johnson Mudama never spoke in his statement, I mean, in a big way, 
as far as the oil scandal is concerned. Because that is the main thing today. You know, there was a time when there was that scandal, which was that, I think, was it the edible oil? They came up with Shakahola, and the attention of the nation was shifted to that. Now we are witnessing this other scandal. They are trying it two ways. Johnson Mudama talking of Red Odinga being the presidential candidate, and of course the Ishungwa group are talking of uh, State Capture Commission <laughs> of inquiry. You know, they are trying to divert the attention of the country from the real scandal. William Ruto is in uh, Germany today. Is it today? And according to him, he's going to bring, he's going to secure 200,000 jobs for Kenyans, you know, which is a lie. And uh, he was in Dubai yesterday, according to sources that I, we, we have in the Republic of Kenya. He was in Dubai because of that particular scandal. So Joseph Mudama would have called for a press conference not to tell Kenyans on who Azimio should front as a presidential candidate for 2027, which is still very far away, but he should have told Kenyans about the oil scandal. So it's just a strategy to divert the attention of Kenyans. Number five, the idea is also to cause division within Azimio. Tomorrow, You'll see Johnson Mudama meeting with uh, Ray Lodinga allies. I know how these people operate. Then photos will be leaked. Or Johnson Mudama will uh, take some photos with Ray Lodinga. He'll, he'll, no, Raila, okay, today Raila is taking his lunch here. He will be there. Take photos, share. The intention would be to cause division within Azimio. And the truth is the possibility of Ray Lodinga not being the as a new presidential candidate, is something that is really worrying Kenya Kwanza. Because they don't know how they are going to campaign with Relo Ding out of the equation, with Uru Kenyatta out of the equation. And lastly, Joseph Mudama should not try to drag Kenyans into his personal beefs with Kalonzo Musyoka, using Relo Dinga's name. Joseph Mudama has a beef to chew with Kalonzo Musyoka as far as Machako's politics is concerned. Remember, he was the senator there. Then, what happened? Kalonzo Musyoka decided to front the wife. You know how it went there. Then he wanted to become the governor. Kalonzo Musyoka fronted another woman of Inyanditi. Mimi, nilikumbana na mzae moi uso kwa huso nikitaka Kalonzo wa rise wa Kenya. Yeye mwenyewe apime masungumzo yangu na moi yalikuwa namna gani. Masungumzo yangu na Kibaki niliyozungumzia hapa ndani nilikosana na mheshimiwa wa Kibaki na tukafikia kiwango cha kuzungumza namna hiyo kwa sababu nilitaka kalonzo wa rais wa Kenya. Uhusiano wangu na Kibaki ulififia kwa sababu ya kutaka kalonzo awe rais wa Kenya. Mimi na Uhuru Kinyata tulikuwa marafiki wakubwa sana. Na hata nyinyi mnajua. Nyinyi mnajua hayo. Katika ujumbe ulioenda Aig kuzindikisha uhuru Kinyata, kati ya hao mimi nilipia wajumbe 15 tikiti ya kwenda Aig kwenda kumsaidia uhuru Kinyata. Mimi na uhuru tulikuwa chanda na pete, lakini nilikosana na mheshimiwa uhuru Kinyata kwa sababu ya Kalonzo awe rais wa Kenya. Man nitaka Kalonzo awe rais wa Kenya. Na sikuona kwa nini Kalonzo angepata nafasi kuliko mtu yeyote. Hai hao marais wote tulienda njia panda kwa sababu kwanza kupenda jamii yangu, kupenda wa Kenya na ya pili kumpenda Kalonzo kama ndugu yangu. Lakini sasa kusimama yeye aseme tutaenda kukaa na hakuna mipango tena. Mimi nasema pana ila nimempangia hawe and that beef is what is disturbing Mudama. He wants to still stop Kalonzo Musyoka from being on the ballot. The fact is, whether Relo Dinga will be on the ballot or not, take this from me. The name Kalonzo Musyoka is going to be on the ballot in 2027. And as long as the name of Kalonzo Musyoka will be on the ballot in 2027, 
the UDA leaders from Mukambani will not have any chance. I don't know what you think. That's my take. Until next time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.